Hey Fluff Bunnies, it's your girl Fluffy and I'm back with another video. But before we get started with this celebrity tea, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when your girl drops another video or decides to go live. Now, let's get into the celebrity tea, y'all. Let's get into it. Yeah, get into it. Um, baby, black Twitter black twitter is on the move honey they canceling everybody left and right okay they is canceling everybody they out here they is out here listen to me they is out here they is out here to get you if you are a karen or a tom <laughs> baby you ain't got no wiggle room you ain't got no wiggle room let me tell you something they didn't cancel lana del rey they didn't cancel doja cat and baby let me tell you who we canceling next jimmy fallon Jimmy Fallon, baby. Jimmy Fallon. You guys might know his famous show. You might probably even watch it. You might even like him. I like the show. I do. I like him. He a little funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, he could low-key. He could have came to the cookouts. We wouldn't have let him bring no potato salad, but, baby, he could have came to the cookouts. So, let's get into it, y'all. Now, y'all know Jimmy Fallon is on The Tonight Show. He is a star. He's the host. He's a producer. He all of that and some. And he is kind of funny. He got some funny little sketches on there. But if you guys remember 20 years ago, my boy was on Saturday Night Live. Yes, he was. Y'all better go back to the early 2000s. Now, what has Twitter done? Twitter has went and dug up an old Saturday Night Live clip, y'all, where Jimmy Fallon did a blackface portraying his his co-star which was chris rock at the time now if chris rock ain't got no problem then why do we you know what i'm saying but you know how it is it's a little unfair you know what i'm saying it, they let you know they let our toms and karens do whatever it is that they please and you know us black folk really don't have no mouth so with that being said what happened in this skit so in this skit you can clearly see Jimmy Fallon portraying to be his co-worker Chris Rock but portraying a uh, the black culture in a negative light so basically he was Chris Rock but if Chris Rock was doing something with crack cocaine I can't find the skit even if I did find the skit it ain't like I could put it here for you so with that being said with that being said we just gonna let y'all go ahead and as soon as I get the clip, I'll go ahead and either post it to y'all or I'll put a little update down in the comments to let you know I got I, I got the clip. I got my hands on the clip. Um, I haven't had time to search because, baby, this just hit the airways. Now, here it is. This is another celebrity that is of Tom and Karen. That is of Tom and Karen. I'm trying not to be racist. You know what I'm saying? I can't talk about racism and then be racist at the same time. So, you know, uh, Tom and Karen um, are at it again. Now, here's the thing. This was 20 years ago, right? This is 20 years ago. Now, can we fault him? Because here's the thing. If he was just doing something and he thought it would be funny to pretend to be his co-worker, which here's the thing. Chris Rock had already portrayed what it was to be a crackhead. We all seen New Jack City. We seen it. So it wasn't like it was something new. It was something that he already portrayed him as. So was it or is it questionably offensive? So you guys got to tell me, how do y'all feel about it? Knowing that Jimmy Fallon decided to paint his whole face black. <laughs> picture here. Painted his whole face black. Pretended to be black. And then pretended to be a crackhead. Is it questionable? Is it questionable? Because... As we all know, blacks are always shown in a very negative light when on TV, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Denzel didn't get an award or a nomination until he played the cricket role, right? <laughs> well, that's another story. So, is it wrong? Is it not wrong? Should we forgive him? Because here's the thing. Some of y'all have said y'all are not forgiving Doja Cat. Now, Doja Cat, we had a proof of her mouth of her saying it and she wasn't in character. Here's the thing. We got to look at it from the standpoint of Jimmy... Jimmy Fallon at the time was being a character, right? Or some would say, was he being a caricature? Hmm. I don't know, y'all. This one is a tough one to call because my thing is, it's different when there's a malicious intent. And the reason why I bring up malicious intent is because when we look at Doja Cat, 
for her to say that and then she had open remarks against gay people saying the word faggot there's always there was a malicious intent to hurt somebody was Jimmy Fallon's intent to hurt somebody doing a Saturday Night Live skit? Now here's the thing, we know Saturday Night Live has been around since at least 1975 and they have also been known to have the least amount of black people actually be on their show. You know, you had to be like extremely like hot commodity funny to be on their show. Other than that, they was, baby, they don't know about you. Maybe it's a little different now because we're in a new millennia, there's new people running it, there's new people looking out for it. So that might be entirely different. That might be entirely different and that's okay. But let's get back. Jimmy Fallon, y'all, how do y'all feel about it? I mean, I need to know because at this point, we out here canceling everybody and we gonna cancel everybody to the point where we ain't gonna have nothing. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna have nobody coming to the cookouts. We ain't gonna have nobody, baby. I mean, we barely holding on to Ellen and Ellen was in the hot seat just a few weeks ago herself too. So look, baby, look, it's not gonna be a gentrified cookout no more. We <laughs> we slowly kicking all the times and Karen's out and we gonna be back at segregation if we keep canceling folks now because they out here doing things that people don't approve of. But what I am saying is, can we stop canceling them? And, and hear me out, hear me out, don't beat me up, don't beat me up, don't beat me up, don't beat me up. Don't beat me up. Hold on, don't beat me up. I'm saying, because we've all said something racist before, you be a liar if you sit in your chair right now and tell me you ain't never said nothing racist before. You be a liar. Yeah, you would. So, with that being said, can we stop canceling folks and just at least be able to say, you know what, I'm gonna forgive what you did, but I ain't gonna forget. Because we over here canceling them but look how long it took them for us to get Ahmad's killers arrested, y'all. We we got the wrong battles. We got the wrong battle. We we at the wrong battlefield, baby. They told us go up two rights and then make a left, baby. We done made two lefts and it don't make a right. So we gotta get it together. We gotta get it together. We the, this cancel this cancel culture that we have going on. The cancel culture where we just I'm canceling folks, y'all. We're we going to have to stop canceling folks. Now, here's the thing. Based on what the person does, some of them deserve to be canceled. R. Kelly, canceled. That's just pedophilia at its finest, okay? That's what it is. You look up the word pedophilia, it's a picture of R. Kelly. There it is. I said it. Who going to fight me? Check me, boo. Who going to check me? Huh? R. Kelly himself can't check me. Anyway... It's just certain people that have to be canceled for, for actual things that they do. You know what I'm saying? Things that can be forgiven. You know what I'm saying? Things that you could be like, okay, I could change. You can't change pedophilia. That's just some something ain't right here, baby. You can't change <laughs> you can't change that. But I'm just saying, you know, he did something in malice. And let's not forget, Robert Downey Jr. did the same thing in Tropical Thunder. Is that the name of that movie? Tropical Thunder? Yes. Or Thunder Tropic, Tropic Thunder, something. It sounded like a whole bootleg porno movie, but whatever. Y'all know what movie I'm talking about. So let's talk about it. If Robert Downey Jr. could do it and everybody thought he did so well that it was believable. It was believable. We all thought he was a black man. So we realized that it's Robert Downey Jr. in blackface. And nobody canceled him. So, if we're going to cancel him, then we got to cancel all the other ones. Now, let's not forget that The Tonight Show airs on through NBC, right? So, if it's through NBC, didn't they fire Megyn Kelly for saying some racist remarks? So, should Jimmy Fallon's job be at stake, y'all? Is he going to get fired? Because I feel like this was 20 years ago, y'all. And I feel like 20 years ago is, is a long time for somebody to grow up and realize the error in their ways. Because we ain't seen him do it since. He ain't stupid enough to do it now. But back you know, back then, he was dumb enough to do it. And did anybody cancel Marlon and Sean Wayne's? Because they sure did dress up in whiteface and play as two females. And we keep asking for the sequel. So, I'm just saying it's going to go both ways if we're going to get mad and we're going to cancel people. So, as we canceling Marlon and Sean, I can't do it. I can't cancel them, baby. I can't. I can't do it. They invited to the cookout. They got permanent passes. They got permanent passes. I can't do it. So, y'all, let me ask y'all, my fluff bunnies. Let's get into it. Let's get into this good conversation right here in these comments right below. Tell me how you feel about Jimmy Fallon. Is he canceled or is he not? Do we forgive him or do we not? 
I need to know, baby, because I want to hear from y'all. What's y'all perspective on it? What is y'all perspective on blackface? Oh, and for those of the Times and the Cameron's and, and whoever else is watching and you don't know what blackface is, it is the impersonation of a black person and trying to be so-called funny because that's what they used to do in slavery days. Because they wouldn't let black people be actors and actresses, so they would have another white person come in and try to be the comedic stupid role. Here's a picture. Boom. There you go. <laughs> okay, history lesson real quick, boo. <laughs> Professor Fluffy, call me that. What's up? Get into my inbox. Yes, let's talk about it. Come to my class hours, everyone. <laughs> my dms are open for you all but anyways y'all i'm about to get up out of here i don't want to talk to y'all too long i don't want to school y'all for too long but let's talk about this cancel culture let's talk about it is it good is it bad is it not is jimmy fallon is he canceled is he not but anyways y'all make sure y'all like share comment and subscribe on this video especially if you had a good old time hanging out with your girl fluffy that part <laughs> i'll see y'all soon get into it <laughs> i love it i do i do all right y'all <laughs> Y'all have a good one. I'm out.